Uh, welcome back. Uh, just a, a quick look at one of the new features I've improved. Um, with the 64-bit version of RTB, uh, which allowed 16K textures, I realised that um, some of the painting routines, when you go to paint on another texture, were a little bit slow. Now for the mask here it's not too bad because the mask isn't actually 16K. Uh, we can separate the size of the mask, but for um, when you're rendering the background there, you, you want to paint over your scenery. Uh, yep, it's hardly even responding. It, it's very, very slow. Um, a little bit awkward to use. So, um, and, and the other thing that was happening, which was uh, fairly obvious was the memory when you start to use these and start to edit the textures it makes another copy of the texture and um, so I, I, ju I just felt there was a, a better way of doing this and um, after exploring that I've gone and rewritten some of the code we'll just take a look at that now so this is the latest version of RTB and with it I've done GPU painting so when we paint the terrain using these masks here or whether it's changing the base color or changing the specular amount it'll be using the GPU instead of the CPU uh, what does that mean in non-technical terms? it means your graphics processor will be doing the hard work instead of your main computer processor I guess is an easy way to explain it so the, the painting happens pretty well uh, that mask is not at 16k so what you saw there wasn't really at 16k um, but this is, and it's painting rather fluently. Um, so we can change that and uh, the specular as well. If I go over that in a um, uh, regular specular, that's increasing the specular. That's decreasing the specular. Now that doesn't have much help um, effect until you actually turn the specular on or turn it up. So at the moment it was tiny. Um, if I just OK to that, you can see darkness takes the specular out of it um, or increasing it makes it more specular. Uh, we'll just undo the material change uh, so we can see the rest of this tutorial. OK, um, so we're going back to there. Now, that, that works pretty well and, and the other advantage of doing it in GPU is that if we look at Racetrack Builder it's um, consuming a lot less memory than it did before um, simply because all of the editing is done on the one gigabyte textures which are sitting in my GPU uh, RAM rather than my uh, main memory so that that's another advantage I guess of this um, obviously you're gonna want um, uh, GPUs, uh, graphics cards with more than 2 gig of RAM to do that sort of editing. Now if I just lay down a road here we can see the uh, other advantage or, or what you can do with this editing. Um, actually if I just do it along here and we have a look. You, you notice the green sides to this road are fairly uh, high contrast to the, the brownish to the side there. So we could if we wanted to edit that road we could change the side to brown all the way um, which would probably be good if we are in a brown landscape alternatively if you've just got some parts that are brown in your landscape you want to change the background material then there's a couple of things we can do we can change the um, the the mask so that we're using more of the green around that so when we come in here um, it's kinda green um, and that those sort of changes can be done and undone quite easily. Um, if we come in here we might just uh, do a little bit of that on that side and a little bit of the other color on the other side. Uh, just blend a little bit more here, strongly in here. So it has a, a bit of an effect. Um, but the other thing that you can do then is if I just double click that and come in here choose a sort of a greeny color okay to that. This is editing the the base color so what Google Earth got for us was these colors and we're painting just straight over the top of them. Um, now be careful with this tool there is no undo just because the, the textures are huge um, in in size and I haven't 
um, coded this um, but if we paint there probably want to do it with less strength coming through and probably want to change it to a better color this is actually changing those textures underneath so that's another way that you can blend it in um, probably wanted to go to a more of a darker green there perhaps um, now I said there's no undo um, I, there is one other feature I've added and that is to press F5 and it will reload all of your textures um, so if you've edited the mask or the um, the base layer it will undo that um, so that's a couple of the new features that I've just added this week um, so the beta is um, in testing now I'm, I've updated that beta today and if you'd like to um, have a look at it head over to the steam discussions and um, join us in there the details are there on how to get this going um, thanks for watching and hopefully some more people can get into the testing before wider release